Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Mark Monlux, and what I'm doing right now is, am I muted? No, I'm not muted. OK. <laughs> I'm going to be drawing for the next hour or so, or rather, I'm going to be coloring. The piece I'm going to be coloring is for this uh, Tacoma Archive Initiative project. I'm going to open up my Facebook page, which you think I would have it open by now, so I can make comments as we're live. So this Tacoma Archives Artist Nifter project that I'm doing is I'm doing a found object image. And so if you were to look in various places, you'll find little hidden objects. Like there is a, a, a popsicle hidden right there. And let's see what else is hidden. Oh, these are different types of objects that are kind of hidden in plain sight. On um, these uh, girls, you can see that she's holding a feather she's got a clam on her hat there's a heart there's a a drumstick there's a lamp what's a funny thing about this is oh here is a oh, i should really spend some time coloring the rest of this shirt <laughs> i might actually uh, do that and then i have a uh, Friend drawing here. So there are obvious hidden objects, and there, there are some not so obvious hidden objects. Like there's a snake in uh, Lonnie's hair here. Well, I see some things I want to fix over here. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing is quietly going in and working on this. And I just want to get some coloring done. I'm hoping that I can finish up the coloring over in this portion of the illustration today. And that's my primary goal. And what I'm doing is I'd like to uh, work with, I think I'll work on this guy next. So we'll go in and I have my layers uh, selected. And I'm making sure I'm working on my color layer. So I'll pull up my palette. I have a palette that I'm using. And I think I will go
I'm trying to decide if I want a lighter color on him or a darker color. I think I'm going to go with a uh, darker color. So I'll go to this value and just value bit just a little change there. Now alter his hat. I'll go with uh, one of the nice features about this is I can go into color harmony and pick a color based on where the previous color were. And as you can see, those colors now work pretty well together. And I'm wondering what this shape is where uh, Getting a little bit of a bleed over right there. And I'm wondering where that's coming from. I'm wondering if it might be something from the gray level, hard to say. So I'm going to go to, to uh, I'm going to lock this layer and go to my. Uh, Line uh, my uh, gray layer, unlock it, then lock my color layer, select my gray layers on, on it, make sure that I have black selected. I'm going to try erasing that. Ah, it was part of my gray. And I had just you can see little tiny errors that I made when I was coloring this the first time with the gray. I didn't capture these little holes. It's a little bit there on the edge of the, on the forehead of this fellow. A little bit on the edge there. So I'm just going to clean up some of these grays. That I was a little too hasty with the first time I did it. Sometimes being quick works out really well. Okay, I'm pretty happy with him. Need to do the uh, inside of the poster though. So I'll take this color, pick the color next to it. Oops, I'm still on the wrong layer. I need to go back. Always check your layers, people. Lock that, go back to my color layer, unlock my color layer. There we go. So he, I'm done coloring him. Now I'm looking at Lonnie here. He's drawing on my friend Lonnie. I'm just going to clean up these rasterizations. 
just a little bit. It's a little smoother. See that that's a, a t shirt design that my friend Stowe did. And I'm having Stowe wearing the t shirt. I got this bright red. I think I'm going to use this bright red on this character and put it in some key places. Oh, did I undo? I want this red. There we go. Going back to uh, Quickly selecting more color. I'm going to keep adding in this green. I found some I found that when you switch and you're doing when you select a color and then you go and you drop it in and then you hit the uh, quick fill this, this little crosshair shows up and you then have to push the crosshairs to the next area that you fill and then as you go through and you fill things That, the, that that crosshair is still there and you now have to figure out how to change that, that uh, when you're done doing the crosshairs, you have to click on the brush tool in order to get the brush tool and away from the crosshairs. Oops.
Yeah. Here I am, I switched to the brush and I'm filling in some of these little dots that for some reason, if I had not used the crosshairs, it would have filled in all the, everything else. That went pretty fast. Trying to decide if I, I don't think I like that blue as much as I like the pink. I'll just go back. Yeah, the pink looks better. Whoops. So I think I will now incorporate this pink up here in the face. That was an alarm. Gotta stop that. This is looking pretty good. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, green in here. I'm going to grab that pink again up here. And yeah, I'm trying to decide. This white, I'll put that back inside the uh, piece. This looks better like that. I decided the top of this head should be red instead of green.
Yeah, that ties in better. But what's missing is some of this, uh, this gray. So I'm going to switch back over, lock this layer, unlock my tint layer, select my uh, black again. Make sure I'm working on the right layer. Always got to make sure you're working on the right layer. I'm going to drop some shadows. This would definitely give some much needed depth to this image. Adding a little bit more gray. This image. Bumping up those shadows a little bit. Just making them bounce a little bit more. Looking up to see if there's any. Oh, my cousin Deborah came and visited. Hi, Deborah. I like keeping track of my uh, cousins on Facebook. I don't know what she has planned for this Thanksgiving. She lives in New York.
and she'll see her uh, son, Cody, and her lovely grandchild. Maybe they'll do something for Christmas this year. Okay, this guy, I'm double checking the shadows for him. I'm gonna fix up a couple of these. If I go in really close, you can see where some of the boobers are. And as you can see, there are some around this ice cream cone, cleaning that up towards the bottom of that. This is all looking, oh, look at these little gaps. Oh, man, how did I miss those the first time? It's because I was being fast. Looking very nice. Okay, so still need to put more color in over here. I think I need to make that. Uh, yes, everybody, I'm remembering. I've got to lock that layer, unlock this layer, go back to my color layer. And I need to uh, change that flower from yellow to something else. Well, first of all, let's try. Well, let's go to our color palette. And here we go. Find a green. Let's select this green. I'm going to put those greens in for the leaves. Ah, not for lines. Go. And let's pick. A different, maybe a pink color for the rose. See if that works. Oh, I'm coloring too far out the lines. Let's get in there. So I'm going to be working on another project later today. Uh, poster project. And uh, might be doing some coloring then as well. Got this horseshoe. I'm going to go with this kind of metal looking color from over here with this horseshoe for these little bobs. Is this the same? Yeah, that's the same blue. Hmm. How do I want to color that boat? Do I want to leave it white? Or do I want to go with some of this yellow? But it looks like a boat if I leave it white. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and leave the top of these masks white. Go for Dark blue there. And I'm going to go back to this blue here.
It just looks better like this. Now I think what I'll do is grab this orange from her cuffs. and change yeah there we go that's i'm having more fun with that yeah that works Maybe if I made that flower orange. Pink. Orange. Pink. Ah, oh, these are pink. And we'll take this dark color and go in the iris. Just filling in a little wee spot. Don't know if you can see the changes, but you see that raster that the uh, anti-aliasing happening. I kind of wanted to clean that up just a little bit. Oops. There we go. Nitpicking. I'm being nitpicky. Um, Tie this ensemble a little bit more together. There we go. That looks funky as we'll get out. And the flute needs a shadow. So we switch back over. In color. First thing we do is the shadow line for the flute, a little bit of the shadow on the flute itself, a little bit on the edges of those controls in the holes. Shadow underneath the finger, shadow on the edge of the finger, shadow on the side of the leg. So we didn't do this part before. Shadow on the thumb that's covering the feet. And a shadow. Her hair is falling over her face. Shadow on the tassel. 
Looking fun. Okay, I think I have her done. Got the background lady done. This gal's looking a little needs that pink highlight. up in her hair. Hmm. And her face is all orangey. I need to do a repair job, I think. Because it's becoming apparent. Oh, take a look at that. That white is on a black layer. So is that red? I'm pretty sure it's the black layer. Yeah. That's where some anti-aliasing came in. So I either need to repair that or just go with it. What's the fast? The fastest way is just to go with it. So what I'm going to do is unlock my reference layer. Bring back my color layer, select this color. Yeah. Carefully. Fix those. Actually, I think I'm going to have to actually do the repair job because it's not working. And I'm going to have to repair this. I can be such a stickler with myself. At times like these, I wish this could be like a Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. I could just select that portion with like a magic wand tool. This is being done in a Procreate. Because in, Pro, in, in the Photoshop, you can just select the color, the magic wand tool, and you'll select everything of that color. And you can click delete and bang, it's done. So I'm going in. And now I'm selecting the black line tool. Make this more, more thin. I have a lot planned tonight. Oh, Stan Brown's following me. <laughs> yeah, Stan, I <laughs> I wish I was closer to finishing it. I should be spending a little bit of time coloring it every day, but this is the first time I've had a chance to even color it this week. Okay. I'm not going to bother fixing those lips because 
both slips are fine. There's some other elements here that are not fine. Do I see any other coloring elements on my lines? Just her lips and that wand, but I think I can let those go. So I'm going to turn on the lock again. And now I'm going to bring back my color. Uh, and there's the purple I was trying to drop in before. On this figure. And that figure has no tinting at all. Well, hold on, that's because I don't have the tint layer turned on. There we go. Now to do some more tinting. Select the black color, lock the correct layer, go over to my tint layer, unlock it, make sure that layer is selected. And now I'm going to be able to tint on this side of her face, and that side of her armband, a little bit in the hollow of her throat, the side of her head. And a little bit underneath her uh, fangs. Little under her arm. No, on the side of this nut. Okie dokie. That figure's done. I'm looking at this area and wondering, oh, what happened there? Why lose a line when I was coloring before? Oops, I'm in the tint, aren't I? I gotta go back, lock the line. There we go. Now I have a bunch of tinting I need to do in the trees. And I have, I still haven't gotten the colors on these two guys in white. I don't like that. And I'm thinking about coloring the tent. 
and I need to come up with stuff to put on these posters and artwork in the background. And I might look for some of my friends' artwork to do that with. I have a painting on the wall here. Oh, and I haven't finished drawing uh, Doug Mackey. He's, he's one more person I need to finish. But I've done enough for today. Got a little bit more done. But overall, it's really coming along. But you can see it's the areas that are too white that I need to go into. And then, like, I still need to fi figure out what to do here. What to do here. I need to finish doing an actual, uh, I'm not done coloring her. And I need to get the tints on the trees. But I'd like to, when I'm doing the tints, is I want to hide some hidden objects in the, uh, in the shadows of the trees and have people looking up there. And then I am thinking that I need to, at that point, either get one more layer. The problem is I'm having to work with five, only five layers. So I might be able to get rid of um, this blue layer at that time and use that to have a secondary tint layer to do shadows. Right now I have one set of shadows, but I'd like to do uh, shadows right on the sidewalk. I have the sidewalk on the same shadow layer, but it's hard to do a shadow that doesn't incorporate those lines. I'd like to have those lines uh, not be part of the shadows. I'd like to, those lines to appear within the shadows. So here's what I mean by the blue line. I, I can uh, just take that layer out because I'm not really needing it anymore. Anyway, that's the progress so far on this project. Thanks everyone for, uh, for watching me draw. I appreciate it. And, uh, And maybe I'll uh, go back online later today to do some more drawing of the poster. Bye now.